Cordero. 11 runners over seven furlongs. The first race, day two, the Sycamore Law Jack Wine Hospital, EBF Phillies Maiden. And it's the favourite red letter who takes them along, followed by Vegas Muse, as they tack across to the running rail. They're tracked by Varshini, close up in the blue cap as well. And then Ballet Slippers after the Stable Companions is Indigo Dream. And then Sun Glow and Long Winded Lady, the rest is on the outside of Al Roca Vivo and trailing the field with four and a half furlongs to go is Nippy Nelly. Red Letter and Colin Keane lead by less than a length to Vegas Muse, Shane Foley. Close up on the outside is Whirl and Wayne Lorden. These three covered by a couple of lengths, tracked on the inside by Varshini and then Ballet Slippers, who races in company, having passed halfway with Indigo Dream, then Sun Glow, Long Winded Lady, Deressa next, with a break then to Al Roca Vivo and Nippy Nelly. Little changes in the order with two and a half furlongs to go. Red Letter in front from Vegas Muse is ridden along in the centre, trying for a run in between the pair is Varshini, dropping back is Whittle in the middle of the track, coming into it is Indigo Dream with Ballet Slippers, trying to stay on against the rail but opening up is Red Letter racing inside the final furlong skips away by three to four lengths from Indigo Dream running on on the outside of Ballet Slippers but it is Red Letter going a spot better here second time wins comprehensively from Indigo Dream Ballet Slippers close second and third and then Whittle well, we've just seen Red Letter get off to mark in the opening race at the Curry here today after running a cracker and debut on Irish Derby weekend Ger, well done nice performance again here today you probably expected from seeing her on debut the first day, uh, step forward nicely and you'd expect her to win her maiden that way. Um, so we're delighted with her and we'll, we'll, we'll see how she comes out of it before we make any plans, you know. Good performance, the last falling again like she did. Good acceleration, strong at the line. At the moment, I think she's not a two-year-old, I think it's all about next year with her and we let her, you know, what we do with her, whether we bring her back or... As I said, I've been at home and we'll discuss it with the family whether we we work for the Moigler or something like that. But uh, listen, she's doing a lot quick. In a, we're only in you know the middle of July. I I seen it in the parade ring. She's very much on the leg. I thought you know she looked raw going down to the start. That's pure ability what you're seeing out there. So we let her tell me what we're going to do with her. Three more runners. Really interesting ones. All the previous winners. Babouche very impressive for the same orders when winning a debut at Cork. Yeah, lovely. She always was Babouche um, way before Red Letter poked her head up. And the negative was she did it all on her own down there on a beautiful track, beautiful straight track. So, but listen, she was prime. She knew what she was to do. And what she's done, she's very professional at home. We didn't ask her any questions. It was always come here, have a look at this race, uh, if, if she was right. And this will tell us where we're going. But I thought if we had a smart filly, proper smart filly this year, it was Babouche. That's a two-year-old, Smooth Sref uh, got his first group success in Leperstown last time. He's back here on a straight-ish track, if you like, in the Romanized Stakes. Yeah, owned by the luckiest woman in racing, in my opinion. <laughs> her horse ran second or third there in that maiden. I mean, every horse she puts her colours on, they're, they're doing the job. Smooth Sref is just a star, probably, you know, the most uh, popular horse in the yard at home. He's, you know, the longer they stay around, the more popular they become. Lovely, straightforward horse. He's won his group three, that's his level. <laughs> probably better around Leopardstown, but I mean it looks a race, a winnable race and he'll be in the mix and hopefully he, you know, known Eleanor will get it, so please God, it'd be nice. Serious notions into Philly's handicap, got off to mark in good style of Roscommon last time, she looked a lot more on her game on that occasion. Yeah, and about time, because in her rating she should have been doing that earlier, wasn't doing it earlier and wasn't doing it at home and she's still not doing it at home, but it uh, was definitely better on the track and if she does, if she runs that r level of a race today, she'll be banging the mix. Well done again. Cheers, Fran. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.